Hi, welcome to Game Dev London. Uh, I'm Chris Payne. This is Diagnosis Game Dev, where I play games and talk about the, the mechanics and the implementation and um, just technical stuff, uh, technical and design stuff, uh, really. So um, what I thought we would do today uh, is a bit of a blast from the past. I'm looking at Master of Magic um, by Microprose originally. This is a, I believe it's been uh, remastered a little bit with by um, Slytherine, um, or, or possibly just wrapped in an emulator. It's running in a DOS box, uh, which, which is why I started a little bit late, because it took me a little bit of time to capture the DOS box. So I've had to capture a screen instead of a window. Um, but uh, this is a game that came out in 1994 uh, when I was at university and uh, I absolutely loved it because uh, it meshed a bunch of different um, uh, design elements that, uh, that I was really keen on. Um, I'll, I'll go into that in a minute. So I'm going to start a new game. So half the fun of this game is like the character creator in uh, RPGs. Uh, it is... The, the, you can set up the like starting conditions for the for the game in so many different ways. It is ridiculous. Um, so let's see. Uh, easy. Let's put it on normal. Opponents for land size. Um, let's go with. Oh, let's go with small for the purposes of the stream. Magic normal, powerful or weak. Let's leave it on normal. Um, okay. Um, right. Here we go. So first things first. You get to pick a. Uh, a wizard, like an avatar to play with, and you see so you've got all of these different characters, um, and you can see that like they've all got a different selection of um, a different skill set of magic. Um, there are five schools of magic, more or less corresponding to the five schools in Magic the Gathering, which was um, uh, released a couple of years before this game. Um, and they have kind of borrowed those kind of like spell um, groupings. Um, so you've got uh, blue, which is basically uh, sorcery and illusion. Um, fire is basically sort of like um, uh, evocation, blasting things with uh, with magic. You've got um, uh, white is basically healing magic and protection magic. Green is nature magic. Uh, and what are we missing? Um, black is down here somewhere. So there we go. Or, or purple skulls in this case, which is necromancy and um, corruption uh, type magic. So you can immediately pick a wizard who has particular skills in in one of these. So I'm. So you can pick someone like Freya is like full on nature magic, or you can pick somebody who's got a mixture of, of a couple of things. Um, I'm trying to remember um, who I used to uh, play as. I don't really remember. Uh, so I'm going to pick... Let's see. I used to like sorcery, so I'm going to pick that. Um, is, there, is there somebody who's full-on sorcery? There we go. Jafar is full-on sorcery. Let's go with Jafar. Um, name is fine. Right, so you can pick a... Once you've picked your sorcerer, Oh, I'm not sure what alchemy uh, means, actually. That's a, that's a skill that this character brings to the game as well. Um, then the, uh, the races... Oh yeah, some of these... There's two parallel worlds. It's kind of like Zelda. There's, there's a normal world and then there's a mirror world, which is um, much uh, tougher, with harder monsters and more, uh, less resources. Um, it's really nasty, and some of these characters start in the mirror world instead of the main world, uh, which means that you have a much t tougher start situation. Um, uh, let's see, so your option, your race options, I'm going to pick high elves because I've gone with sorcery. High elves give me bonuses to, to magic, um, obviously, and I can pick a banner. Let's, let's go with a blue banner. Um, okay, so it, it procedurally generates the world. So, as you can see, this is very... I mean, it, it's a one of the like earlier um, 4X uh, type games. This is very heavily based on uh, Sid Meier's Civilization, the first one, um, with this Magic the Gathering magic system bolted on top, plus a whole bunch of things like that all tap into that so so you've got 
civilization, and then you've got magic spells. Then you've got this um, avatar, a particular sorcerer who brings particular skills. You've got a race, uh, um, which um, changes things up a bit. Um, if you've ever played um, Endless Legend, that has a um, that is kind of like a spiritual successor to this game, which has a similar massive variety of different races you can pick and different skills that you can apply. So you can, you know, you almost have like a dozen different games in there depending on what your starting loadout is, as it were. So I'm going to call it Little Roz. Uh, now I'm going to have to remember the UI because this is. I haven't played this for quite some time. I'm just going to move my camera down out of the way so you can see the whole thing. Here we go. Uh, so, flipping egg. Um, this was marginally, as I recall, uh, this was getting into the point where things were starting to be a bit more user friendly. So, I think most of these um, are. Right, let's see. Uh, I think that these are the portraits, possibly, of the other um, uh, enemy wizards who are also on the map. So, I have uh, a mana. Bar, a research bar, and a skills bar. Um, so da 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 da. da. Okay, um, what was alchemy? Oh right, alchemy. You can turn money into magical power, um, uh, and that is a skill that this particular wizard that I've chosen has. Not all of the starting characters have that. Um, uh, and then we have. So we have. We start off with uh, two of these barriers. So I'm gonna. First off, I'm gonna split them up. Um, uh, let's go that way. Okay, so we've got tower, and then this one can go this way. Okay, so I've got some gold, I've got magic, um, and this, these three represent my per turn income. So I've got four gold, and zero food, and four mana coming in. Um, next turn will move me on to the next turn, so I can move those characters again. Let's have a quick look at... Um, oh, and then, then there's the map. I can scroll the map around... Oops. Yeah, I can scroll the map around in a slightly clumsy way. Can I just grab it and drag it? No, I can right-click to scroll to the point that I've clicked. Oh, here we go. Lil Roz, it is a hamlet. That is my mage tower, my fortress. There we go. So that's my population of high elves. I've got resources. So this is a, this is one of the first um, examples of a really rather elegant um, user interface in my book. You're limited with um, a resolution of 320 by 200, um, which is which is what this is. It's VGA. So this is loads of bread. So the resources shows how many bread they're producing, but it shows that four of them are what the settlement needs, and these two are surplus. And that little break in the middle is just a really easy way to indicate that you have an excess. Um, and I really like that. I'm not, I think if you have uh, too little, you get one of these, like loaves of bread would, t would be red. So it shows that it's not providing enough resources. So that's, that's production, that's money, and that is uh, mana power. I don't think I'm producing any excess there. So I'm currently producing housing. Okay, uh, so if I were to change that... Oh god. Um, obviously it's 20-something years since I played this, so I don't remember it all. So that down... When you change what you're building, you basically have a list down one side. This side has all of the um, different units that I can build. Um, and then this side has all of the different uh, buildings. So, housing... I mean, housing is good. That, that basically, putting it on housing is a generic sort of like grow faster setting. I'm going to leave it on grow faster for the moment. Um, oh, do you know what? I'm just going to use... Oh no, I can't. Can I scroll around? No, oh dear. getting used oh. I used to play this a lot um, but obviously times have moved on and our expectations of user interfaces have evolved considerably um, so right so game okay so this is my save my save game um, can I put a save game in there yes yes I can Chris save there we go I've saved the game 
Um, okay, so uh, spells. Right, this is nice. This is my spell book. These are the spells that I know. I can summon a floating island. Oops. Right, I've got... Oh, there we go. Right-click on it to get the info. Floating islands! Um... Ah, oh, right, okay, so I can... I can... I don't even remember... I don't even remember this one. I can summon a... Um... A cloud onto an ocean. It's basically a boat. It, it's it's a boat that I can summon and carry up to eight units um, uh, across the sea. Um, but the fact that I can do it as a spell means that I don't... I can just cast it. I don't need to develop it and put lots of resources in, into it. I can just summon it as needed. Um, uh, yes, I do wish to abort that. There we go. Uh, I wish to abort that, actually. Do we sh yes. Right, yeah, I didn't mean to start casting any of those. Um, so Nagas, it summons a couple of Nagas that... Um, in the middle of a fight. We'll get to that in a minute. Magic spirit, what's that do? Summons a magic spirit, which... Oh, here we go, which... Um, ah, yeah, now this is useful. This is for capturing sources of, of mana. Um, so this whole magic layer that sits on top of the uh, standard 4X structure adds an enormous amount. Um, and what's this one? Word of Recall. Transports a, t a friendly unit back to your summoning circle. Um, so basically, yeah, you can... Uh, if you're in a fight and it looks like you're using it, losing it, you can rescue important units and send them back to your home city. That's, honestly, there are so many different strategies that you can you can use with this. Unit spells, resist magic, protects units against spells. I think these four pages are everything that we've got in the way of spells. Then armies, the armies of Jafar. I only have like these two: Hile spearmen and swordsmen. That's it. Minimal upkeep. Um, you can also you can recruit heroes. You can craft magic items to give to your heroes. Like the layer on layer of different tactics that you can put in is ridiculous. Um, so let's uh, then cities. Uh, there we go. I've only got one city at the moment, but this is this is my top uh, my hierarchy of cities. So I can see what's going on there. Magic. Uh, this is what we had a look at. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these crystals are become the portraits of the other um, things and then info uh, oh my god um, I've forgotten how much stuff there was in here uh, surveyor cartographer apprentice historian astrologer grief, uh, okay so the mirror this tells you about your own stats it tells me how I'm doing um, uh, like surveyor what's that show me surveyor oh there we go that's changed the mode so I'm in surveyor mode, so I can now see what we've we got here. That is a, a, that's a, there's a cave. So I could have explored that cave. It could have monsters in it. it could have treasure in it. Um, we have a mountain there which has gold ore on it. So that, that's useful. Uh, we have a an unexplored temple, and we have an unexplored keep. The all these additions of like temples, keeps, caves. There are uh, all sorts of different like magical sort of like weird like nodes and st circles of stones and things like that, which you can uh, find on there. Oh, oh okay. Cancel surveyor mode. Uh, I'm not going to go through every one of these. There we go. Cartographer. This is this shows the world map. Um, Showing me and neutral my units and neutral cities. Let's close that. Um, apprentice. Ah, here we go. This is where we research spells now. Let's see what have we got. There's a whole bunch of combat spells. So there we go. So these are ones that I have not yet. I think that they're ones that I, I don't. I'm not skilled enough to research yet, so they're they're encrypted, so I can't I can't see what they I don't understand those spells. Sonic Blast was quite useful. Let's, let's just back up unit spells, enchantment. So this is basically like the, the full set of all of the. Here we go. Right, Phantom Warriors. That is the one that I used to like. Uh, 
Oh. I think that this is just for me to um, look stuff up, to be honest. Um, because... Can I re overland enchantments? Oh yeah, you can enchant the entire map to do different things um, and so on. So let, let's, let's get into this. Um, oh yeah, and plane, that swaps between the two planes. Um, currently I haven't explored the other plane at all. Right, so let's go next turn. Oh, choose a new spell to research. Yes, thank you. That's what I wanted. Uh, where are I? Phantom Warriors is the one that I want, because I used to use that a lot. Um, but I will... That's going to take a long time to summon. Maybe I should pick something that... I'll pick Guardian Wind because it's quick. Um, so that, that's going... Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to move you south there. Found an ancient temple. There are zombies. Do I wish to enter? I do wish to enter. This is going to give an example of a fight. Here we go. Right. So. I've only got four mana. Um, so when you get into a battle, um, it goes to this isometric view, um, which uh, was a really nice feature where civilization would just resolve the fight on the main map. This gives you a tactical battle instead. Now, the uh, the fun thing here is that, that I absolutely loved uh, is that I can... Oh, I don't have enough mana to summon me. There we go. So, phantom... Oh, wait. Maybe that's just because I don't know the spell. Right. Okay, so I can pick spells that I've got enough mana for. But it looks like I've only got four mana anyway. I was going to try to summon uh, some... Uh, allies to help my guys. Basically, how tough are these? So they've got two shield, six health, I think. One speed, one damage. These guys do four damage. I'm going to get pasted if I if, if I fight them. I need to flee. Sorry, I'm, I need to flee. My forces have retreated. Okay. So I moved back. I basically lost my turn. I moved back to where I came from. This is a downside to splitting them up. Um, I had forgotten that it was the first turn and uh, I have a limited um, amount of mana at this point. Abandon Keep. There's an Earth Elemental. Do I wish to enter? No, I do not. At least I now, now I know what, what is there. Okay. Um, so, I've got still full, um, I've now got some mana... Next turn, right now I've got eight mana, which means that I can hand I can handle. Oh, oh did not mean to do that. I can control Z to undo. That's brilliant. Um, did that undo or did that just? Oh, there, there we go. Right, so um, these guys, I'm going to move them south onto the onto the cave. I've got a suspicion that I might have wasted my move. What's going on there? That looks like it's put a boot icon on there, which means I think that because I think you can send them to walk like all the way across the map, and it'll give you a chain of boots leading all the way across um, to show where they're heading, so you don't have to move them one square at a time every turn. Uh, they will just go by themselves. Um, you can also set them to patrol and like the advanced features that I can't remember how to use um, okay I think that that is everything then no I, it appears that I've wasted my turn um, how, no I did not want you to patrol go there done there we go um, and let's go next turn Right, now I can move these guys, and I've got 12 man mana now, let's go in and fight the zombies. Right, so what I want to do is summon something. Enchantment, unit spells, here we go. Right, Phantom Warriors, this is my, uh, this is my favourite tip trick. There we go, I have summoned Phantom Warriors, so my actual unit can stand at the back and watch whilst my fighting wa Phantom Warriors do, uh, do the fighting. Um, I may have been better off because they move. They move one and they can. Uh, 
can water walk. That little uh, wave icon means they can water walk. And they do three points of damage, but they have no shields. I may have put them too close to the zombies, actually. Let's move these guys up here. And then these guys back here. I can't remember her, how the turn the, the, the turn order works. I think if I move over here, move these guys up here. Here we go. Right. Now these guys can move up here. Can they? They can attack them. <laughs> okay. That did not go quite how I planned. Um. Crap. Oh, and now I've moved my unit again. And, the, and moved him back. Uh, the interface is kind of foxing me at the moment. Okay, well, uh, I will build up some more magic and I will build another unit. So let's go to, let's go to my city. Let's change that from housing to uh, an armory, maybe? Or let's have a look, spearmen. Costs 15. Swordsmen are a lot better. That costs 30 twice as much. Let's set it to build some swordsmen. Um, maybe I'll not split my forces in future. So that's going to take six turns. Okay, it's always a bit slow at the beginning. Um, right, so let's go next turn. Right, and then have him go south to the cave. A mysterious cave. A guardian wind spell. That's what I was researching. I've now unlocked Guardian Wind, so I can research something different. Is it only one of these? Apparently. Okay, well, I'm going to go with... Wind Mastery... Uh... Phantom Beast was quite good, but currently that's going to take forever. But let's try... Um... Let's try Vertigo. For the moment. Okay. Um, and then we'll then we'll go next turn. So that cave is now explored. So let's let's head off and see what else I can find. Maybe I can find something that I don't have to fight um, in order to benefit from. Uh, next turn. Okay, this is looking like I've started on some sort of an island or a peninsula, which is pretty good. Uh, next turn. Uh, let's. Let's just check out down here in the hope that it is... Yeah, it's a peninsula. Okay, that's good. So I don't, I've only got one front to worry about. Um, so let's see, how is my... How's my city doing? One more turn and I've got some more swordsmen. Okay, that's good. Right, let's go that way. Okay, and then I'll send my swordsmen up north. I don't fancy my... Shall I try and send my swordsmen in against the zombies? Both of them. Let's give it a go. Uh, right, and then next turn. Uh, I'm just going to... Can I tab to... Let's pick a different... There we go. Pick a different unit. Move them together. Uh, and then the, this one I need him to wait. Wait. Oh, he's good. I think he's just going to stay there. I think that'll be fine if I go done and go next turn. Then I can. Uh, they're now an army, and I can move them together. Here we go. Let's get these zombies. Here we go. So uh, you're going to move forward. You're going to move forward. I'm going to cast a spell, which is Phantom Warriors, and I'm going to put the. And then these guys are going to move, these guys can move, Phantom Warriors can move. Right. Uh, now, can I move these guys up here? Can they? Oh, I moved instead of attacking. Ah, oh, right, okay. Um. This 
this this could be that let's attack do you know this looks like it could be really bad <laughs> Okay, you could see that the zombies were getting worn down there, so there's only three of them left. Okay, so if I throw another unit in there, hopefully those zombies, because like, especially because they're undead and I'm pretty sure that they don't regenerate, when I get my next unit back... I've got a unit. Okay, let's go south. They should be able to handle them, I hope along with my Phantom Warriors. Um, I'm not playing this terribly well, but you'll get the idea. Um, so next turn, let's let's go in there. Yes, I want to enter. Okay, here we go. Uh, spell, let's have my Phantom Warriors. Phantom Warriors here. And then I have the, my swordsmen step up forward. The Phantom Warriors can wait. I think. Oh no, they can attack diagonally! Okay, fine. Phantom Warriors can attack diagonally. They. They, re they did regenerate, I've only just noticed. Well, that was foolish. Shall I flee again? I'm gonna flee again. Oh, and I lost my swordsman in the process of fleeing, because there is a risk that you can lose units. Wow, I'm doing spectacularly badly at this. Right, let's get another unit. Oh, my city has grown. That's great, that will speed things up. Let's get a unit. Let's just go and explore the map a little bit. Here we go. Um, shall I set this city to doing anything else? There's a good surplus of bread but I'm not producing a lot in the way of resources. So if I turn high off town, so let's see, what have we got? Um, I can set the townsfolk to be farmers, workers, or rebels. Rebels is what happens when people are unhappy. I've got a rebel who, produ who is producing nothing. What do I do to make... That's a problem. Yeah, well, farmers, workers, make production. I've got a rebel, how do I make my... Um... Let's change what I'm producing there. Let's do something that is likely to um, add... Reduces unrest level by one. There we go. Um, and it adds one mana, and allows me to use nightshade. I'm not sure what nightshade is for, but it'll crop up. So, I'm producing a shrine, there we go. Um... That's going to take 50 turns. Well, might as well set it going. Let's see. Ideally, I want to conquer um, next turn. Let's see if I can conquer um, a village to in expand my empire. Um. Oh god, I'm on a tiny, tiny island that I'm actually trapped on. Um, I'm going to have to build a seafaring unit to get out. Okay. Oh, I have a hero for hire. Do I have that much gold? Yes, I do. Rakir the Beastmaster. Right, so he can move two. Costs a couple of gold to upkeep, but he's absolutely badass. So, I'm going to hire him. Yeah, name is fine. Um, where is he? I think he will appear at my capital next turn. So I'm going to move this one. What have we got here? Oh, a sorcery node. There are phantom warriors within. Phantom warriors are not that tough. Let's go in. Oh shit! <laughs> I had in my head like one unit of Phantom Warriors. Um, I cannot summon that. Well, I've got 87 mana. I can summon a fair bit. What have we got? Resist mana. Counter it. Let's have a look. Um, that's counter magic. Uh, resistance versus magic. I don't know if their attacks count as magical. Um, Guardian Wind is good against archers and stuff. Uh, combat spells. Silent Blast. Oh yeah, this is the other thing. I can just splat. And confuse 
Ratchet. Randomly. Allies for a second. Okay, uh, let's try Confusion. Okay, Confusion. Let's pick. Um, and, and that's my turn. So they can move backwards. Uh, confusion didn't appear to do very much. Let's try another one. Confusion on them. Uh, and then these guys can run over here. Confusion is not really accomplishing very much, though, is it? I'm unable to spell throws, throw spells at this time. Why is that? Oh! They attacked each other. That's that's good stuff. Right, I'm unable to spell. Is there a limit on the number of spells I can cast in a battle based on my level or something? Could be. Um, yeah, so I can't cast any more spells. It looks like I might actually have to just stand up and fight these guys. Okay. I used to be quite good at this game. I now have a hero. Can my hero tackle zombies, I wonder? I'm not going to be able to make this any bigger, am I? Okay, um... I'm going to switch my city to building... Let's change that to building um, some settlers. Let's build another city for a, uh, for a start. Oh god, that's going to take forever as well. Alright, let's change it to a swordsman. Okay, we need to, like, win something here to sort of like, make a bit of progress. Because having one city is pretty poor lookout. Um, okay, so all I can do is wait. Okay, so I can send my hero to do some stuff. So I could send him... Oh, he can see further! That's good. In that case, I can send my hero to do a lap to scout out where I'm better off sending boats to. At least I, my city is on the on the seashore, so I can um, take advantage of that. Uh, okay, nothing much there. Next turn. Oh, let's just recenter there. Okay, there we go. Uh, nothing up there. Turn. I should have some swordsmen popping out any day now. Doesn't look like there's an awful lot up that way. What have we got in there? An earth elemental. I think they're pretty tough. But if it's a single enemy, then I might be able to just like slam it with spells. So I'm, I'm gonna, I think I might give that a try. Let's have a look. Oh god! It said an earth elemental. Two earth elementals and a fairies. Okay, let's try. Oh, the Beastmaster can spell cast spells as well. He can resist elements and resist magic. But that's all he knows how to do. Uh, yeah, that's good against magic. That's good against magic ranged attacks. I don't know that that's really helpful. Um, so I'm going to cast Confusion on one of these guys. And then back here. Wait. Oh god. What the hell? Oh. The fairies do ranged magic attacks. They've killed my hero. She's really unforgiving. Okay. Believe it or not, I spent a long time playing this and I, I wasn't always losing. Um, okay, well, I'm going to get some swordsmen popping out at some point. Am I not? Yeah, swordsmen, there we go. They're nearly done. Okay, 
I have swordsmen. <sighs> Let, let's at least send two in with them. Um, wait. Uh, I've got a lot more mana now, so can I maybe... Let's try attacking the zombies. Now that I've got more magic and bigger spells. Because it's only one unit. Right, here we go. Psionic Blast. Hang on a minute. Oh, what? Am I committed to it now? Right, no, I can, I can cancel it. Let's go back to my spells. Psionic Blast. What does it do again? Um, strength 5, non-physical attack, and I can increase it in strength by pumping mana into it. Let's try standard strength spell to begin with. I don't think that really did very much at all. So, okay, these guys can then, like, you head that way. Now let me try it. Let's try that another and this time I'll just pump a hole. Shit, let's, let's go f for the max. Pump loads into it. I took one, one zombie out. I mean, that's helpful. These guys can move over here. Can I cast another one? I'm unable to throw spells out this time. I think I can only cast two per battle or something. Seems odd. Probably get better as I level up. Uh, shall I? Oh, let's just, let's let's have a, let's have a go. We go over here. Right now I can attack them. Died again. Okay. Let's just wait for another one to pop out. Oh, my city's grown. Hey, that's that's not bad. It's going to take another four turns for that flipping egg. Okay, well, when they pop out, I'll switch it back to a shrine. Okay, there we go. Let's go in the city, change that to a shrine. Okay, that's going to take us 20 turns, that's not so bad. Okay, um... Wait, um, and then... I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait there. In fact, I'll put him on patrol, which means I don't think I have to give him orders every turn. And then I can just go next turn, next turn, next turn. Oh, it's going to take 20 turns to, to just to get the shrine. I should kick out another unit of them. Yeah, if I change that to swordsman. Okay. Okay. Next turn, next turn, next turn. Next turn. Patrol. Next turn, next turn, next turn, next turn. Okay, now three of them. Should be enough to tackle the zombies. Let's wake these guys up and send all of them down south. And I'm gonna switch this to the to the shrine. Okay. Uh, oh, now I'm short on food because I've got too many units. Can I turn him into a farmer? Now I've got more food, the shrine will take longer. There we go, next turn. I suspect I won't need all that much food in a minute because some of these guys are going to get absolutely bothered. Right, um, I am going to try to do something extraordinary. Phantom Warriors. Let's give them a go. I know they've not been doing too well. Um, and then these guys can move up behind. Phantom Warriors can just wait. Okay. And then we're back to Phantom Warriors. Did they get two moves or something? No. Another round. Let's move them forward. Okay, there we go. And they get to attack. They're going to get pasted. 
But they did do some damage. Let's get another Phantom Warriors. Um, and I'm going to put them right here in front. Zombies to come to me. Well, Phantom Warriors, I'm not too concerned about losing them, so if I move them. Oh, okay. Well, they did some damage, so the zombies are now on nearly half hits. So, let's see how this goes. Have I just before first? Can I summon Phantom Warriors? Right here. And use them first. That's worn them down a tiny bit. Okay. Um. Oh, very good. Finally! I'm only about 40 odd turns in and I've beaten my first enemy. That's great. 50 gold. Well, there, that was clearly worth it. Um. Okay, so next turn. Uh, so I've got... Now, here's the question. Can I... I don't have any healing magic. So I can't heal that particular unit, but maybe I can bring him back to the capital and rest him to heal him up. Something like that. Um, let's move him there. Next turn. Move him there. And then I want this one to go on patrol, see if he'll, if resting will actually help him. Uh, in the meantime, these other two, actually, let's put them all on. I mean, what are we going to do with them? Um, let's, let's, two earth elementals and some fairies in the keep, or a bunch of phantom warriors at the sorcery node. Let's go for the phantom warriors. I know that the phantom warriors are weak. Act. Maybe I should just send these guys in. Anyway. Yeah, let's send them all in. Next turn. Next turn. Okay, yeah, we wish to enter. Right, individual units heal up, but units that I killed previously do not come back. That's why I remembered. Okay, so now we're, that's looking much healthier. It's only three, three on three, and I can um, uh, let's, let's, let's give the old um, let's give confusion a go on the middle, and, then, and have these guys move up. Actually, then let's have them move backwards this way. Come on, confused guys. Please attack your mates. That's what I wanted. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh, uh, Sonic Blast. Oh, I'm not doing anything else with my mana. Let's pump it all in there. And blast them. That appeared to do absolutely nothing. It could be because they're Phantom Warriors and they're immune to it. Just do it. Okay, right now these guys can uh, attack them. Copy pasted. These guys can move them. And then move that way. These guys can move up here. And I've won. Okay, now I have a sorcery node. Which I've got to remember, I have 10 gold and a spell blast. Okay, I've won a new spell. It's fun that that animation as well is sort of like all split into layers so you get um, it's customized based on your the particular avatar that you have the uh, type of magic that you do it, you have the it, they all have different little familiars and props around the room it's really nice um, so that is that has added a sorcery node to my empire um, which is good I like adding things to my empire. That shrine is going to take for flipping forever. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, 
that's how you do it, right? You can you set the threshold for for farmers. It's really weird. You don't click on an individual. Um, you just click on the threshold for how many of them you want to be farmers. So if I want to make less of them farmers, um, oh, I can't reduce it below the minimum for this um, city. But if I if I put it down to there, I've still got unrest. Let's thirteen turns to build that, and that should get rid of my unrest. Oh, now I'm on minus two food, so maybe I won't do that. Okay. Right, so now what have I got in this uh, army? Let's go next turn. Um, I have two battered swordsmen. So let's bring them home, I guess. Next turn. I've forgotten if there's a keyboard shortcut for that. Uh, let's bring them home and put them on patrol. And then just click through a bunch of turns. Oh! There we go. Red nodes are... Twice as good. I have no. I only have a blue node. I think that is a sorcery node, which is um, appropriate. Um, so I should be getting more mana uh, from there. Let's, no, it won't show me. Hang on a minute. Let's look, have a look at info. Ooh, uh, surveyor. Uh, it's a sorcery. No, it doesn't say. Cancel that then. Uh, Grand vizier. What's that? Allow. Oh, that's that's basically turning on the AI. Tax collector, chancellor, astrologer. What's that one do? Oh, this is comparing me. Yeah, look at. Look, I'm. I haven't met any of the other wizards, so I can't see how they're doing compared to me. But I expect they have bigger bars. Uh, let's see how, how long have we got? Uh, <laughs> I've only got another uh, ten minutes. Uh, Allocated. I don't know how the, um, this game is going to be particularly successful, and it's very hard to show all of the stuff that's going on in this game without getting out across the map. And so, what if I were to research a? I need to research something to get um, over the sea. Wait, didn't I have a spell that would create a floating island? Can I do that? Or do I have to research it? Floating Island. Summoning. Okay. No. Nope. So I've started casting Floating Island. Maybe... I've got enough mana for it. But maybe I need to feed... Pump this mana into it instead of using my stored mana. Lilwaz has grown. That's good. Selectors... Oh, okay. So it takes at least one turn... To cast it. Select a space as the target for a floating island spell. There we go, we have a floating island. Uh, and then I want to wake these guys up. Yeah, they're slowly recovering their health, but I'm going to put them on the floating island. And then the floating island can go off this way. Ah. Oh. It appears that the floating island can't actually enter that off its own back, so I'm going to have to go around it and scout out a bit. Next turn, okay. There's a ruin, which again, I can't enter. I think I'm going to have to send a flying unit to attack that tower because I can't disembark. Oh, maybe I can disembark. Actually, let's just have a look around and see if I can... Because if I disembark onto a different um I'm just interested it's got a lot of hits costs mana to upkeep so it'll stay it'll stick around but it's using presumably all my mana to um, keep it going um Okay, uh, I think... No. Uh, no. I'm not interested in moving them out of here just yet. Let's wait. 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 Done. Oh, done. Okay, there we go. Right, so, um, yes, zero mana, because I'm pumping all of my available mana um, into keeping the floating island going. 
So, next turn. What have I learned? Vertigo. Windmaster, Enchant Road. Aura of Majesty. Blur, ten percent damage reduction, more or less. Could be good. Dispels enemy. Um, I mean, dispel magic's quite a good one to have. That's fairly basic. Let's let's put that on the list. Okay, so now we are looking at um, another continent properly. So let's bring wake these guys up. Uh, I think I might have used their turn. Done. I'll try and get them off on the next one. Uh, there we go. So disembark to here. Oh, another sorcery node that I probably have to fight over. Um, and then I can move this guy um, back. I can use it to scout out some more of the world, so at least I can explore. Um, in the meantime, next turn. Um, shall I have a look at that ruin first, in case it... Oh. Right, next turn. Um, do you know what, I think I'm more in interested in looking at where I know there to be some interesting stuff. Another sorcery node. This is a lot of sorcery stuff that I could be claiming, if I could get to it. Zombies within the ruins. I know that they're quite tough. If there's only one, might be alright. Two. What have we got here? Zombies. Four attack, three shield. Skeletons. Three attack, four shield. Okay. Um, right, spell. Let's try confusion on them. Oh, uh, that unit is immune to sorcery spells. I'll try them on the skeletons. They're both undead, so I can't use mind affecting magic, of course. Um, works on phantom warriors, though. Okay, in that case, I'll cancel that and try a different spell. Should we try the old psionic blast, cranking that up to full? Try it on the skeletons. Oh, I bet it's mind affecting. That'd be why it has no effect. Let's cancel that. Uh, oh, flipping it. What have I got that will actually help? Phantom Warriors. Okay. Combat, but now they're on their own. So, 
Let's move this away. Try and tackle the um, skeletons first. Ah, skeletons ain't so tough. That's what I was banking on. Okay, let's move these guys up here. Uh, let's move the him back. Uh, behind these guys, so that these guys can... Can I try and cast? No. I'm allowed to cast, but I'm limited with what I'm allowed. I'm actually allowed to cast. I've got 122 mana. I don't know what. I'm not entirely sure why I'm limited in spells. Okay, so. I was defeated, but I think I did take out the unit, so that I think is now unguarded. So if I can switch this city to making a five more turns for the shrine, I'm going to let that finish. Um, let's just go. Let's just explore while I've while I'm waiting for that to finish. Uh, next turn. Next turn. Okay, yes, the conjunction of chaos has ended. Okay. I'd better start heading back now, actually, so that um, I around it, uh, in time to pick up the unit that I plan to build in a few turns. Uh, next turn. Next turn. We built the shrine. Brilliant. Oh, well, that hasn't really helped a lot. Oh, no, it has. It's got rid of the insurrection. Brilliant. So now I've got two people. So now we will build things faster. Let's build another swordsman. Okay. Okay. Four turns. So let's see how fast I can get this floating island back there to pick them up. Next turn. Mercenary for hire. Noll Spearman. I will take that. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um... Just patrol there until the swordsmen are done. Pick you both up at the same time. Next turn. Next turn. Okay. Uh, and... Next turn. Wait. Okay, here we go. Now I can get these guys on board. And then this thing can go here. And let's set the now that I've sent them off. Let's start building something else that's reasonably quick. Library, that's not too plus two spell research. That'll be good. Temple. Plus two mana. Use of nightshade. Oh that's basically the same as the shrine that I built. Um, but it, it gives me more mana. Uh, shipwright Guild. I think I'm going to need that actually. Okay, so for the long term that would be that would be best. Next turn. Okay, and uh, let's let's move them. Fountain ruins. Summoning circle spell. I think that that allows me to move my summoning circle to a different city, if I want to move my headquarters, essentially. Okay, um, tell you what then, that was effortless, so let's go next turn, send this chap exploring, and these guys head for the sorcery node and see what we can see. Okay, I've been playing for about an hour, so I'm going to have to wrap up soon. I don't think I'm really going to be able to show the full um, range of options that are available in this game, but next turn, I think I might have skipped one by accident. I do enjoy exploring maps like this. Let's look at the sorcery node. Nagas! Let's try, yeah. And, oh god, there's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. Okay, uh, let's try confusion on the Nagas. 
that appeared to have no effect. Ah, uh, Nagas are a sorcery type creature, but it, it worked on Phantom Warriors. It's a little bit disappointing. Boy, we're going to get absolutely hammered here. Um, let's try some Phantom Warriors. Just keep them occupied. Move my real units away. And the Phantom Warriors can try and take them. Oh my god, the Nargis are totally But I did get one of them. Oh. That Naga is nearly dead, so the Phantom Warriors were actually really good there. If I can do the fight using... Okay, if I can keep the, um, uh, the fight going, oh no, I'm out of spells, so now they're going to die. Ah, uh, never mind. Right, well, let's try and take out the... Oh, no, neither of these are weakened. Oh well. <laughs> Took out a couple of units of Nagas, so you, there is a certain level of attrition that you can do. I think that's probably a good point to leave it because, it's like, I'm, I've had such a slow start to this one, it's, it's, it's going to be painful. Um, but uh, this uh, this game is available on um, uh, Good Old Games, uh, GOG.com, um, uh, for a pittance, um, and it is still a really uh, rich game um, if you can get your head around the interface uh, so yeah if it interests you uh, the it's got so many tactical options because of this layering of a standard 4x with then like magic spells on top and heroes and enchantments and different races and then the second play like the parallel world um because for example you don't necessarily need to develop boats if you've got a portal to the other plane on your island you can just hop into the other plane and go overland until you find another portal to come back onto the main map. All sorts of clever tricks you can do. It's seriously so many options. Um, but uh, yeah, um, this is what I spent a lot of my time at university playing um, back in 94. Um, and uh, it's interesting to share it and um, discover how bad I have become at it. Um, I might continue playing this game for a little bit, see if I, what else I remember. Anyway, um, if you're interested in more kind of um, not necessarily quite so retro um, explorations of uh, game design, um, uh, please uh, go to gamedev.london where you will find links to our podcast, which comes out every Monday, talking to various game developers about all things games industry related um, our discord where there's a whole bunch of developers chatting about all sorts of stuff uh, we have regular audio uh, meets and just lunchtime chats and uh, stuff like that find that all at gamedev.london and I will see you this time next week thanks very much <laughs>